<laughs> okay, I panicked. Did not dash the way I should have. Cause I actually got it right. I just didn't dash it correctly. Now we got the key, so we're good to go. Um. say we're actually in the right place but this guide is very not helpful <laughs> right now I think it might be down wait actually it might be this way uh, no this is like to the end so we're not gonna go this way uh, we are opting to go this way instead this looks right. Like, this looks correct, I think. Except I'm missing a switch somewhere. I swear this place is a nightmare. Well, actually, we didn't do this puzzle because I thought I was going the wrong way, so we might as well do this puzzle now. Alright, so hold on to the block. I said, hold on to the block, um, and then launch yourself. Like that. <laughs> this place is literally a nightmare. I mean, so the aesthetic fits, I guess, but, um... Doesn't make it necessarily the most exciting to navigate. Uh, I think what we need to do is take this red orb and launch ourselves to here. then go right and if I'm actually not misremembering there I think there's actually a puzzle involving one of those like segmented strawberries too like this is it's coming back to me now it's like it's actually coming back to me now I was actually right I can't believe it <laughs> I swear dashing is also my like worst enemy in this game because I, I botched so many like dashes like this. Hey, we did it. We didn't suck entirely. <laughs> All right, so we get this and then through here should be the cassette. Got it. I dashed too soon. I sh shot into the wall and that didn't help me. There we go. <laughs> Part one down. Um. Alright, so we need to jump in the middle like that. <sighs> okay, so far so good. that and voila and the crystal heart I do know how to get so no problems from here on out except <laughs> the normal progression of chapter 5 being a problem in itself because yeah this chapter is long but we still have like f f three or four more segments left Like, it's actually slightly ridiculously long. <laughs> Alright, so the key is to not use the key on the right door. We need to do this thing right here and go past this door. Like so. Which means we have an extra key to work with, which is how we get the crystal heart. <laughs> I 
I mistimed the thing. Okay. This is actually going pretty well. Like this overall run, I've I've, I've died over a hundred times, but like I'm actually I feel like I'm actually doing pretty okay <laughs> compared to previous attempts. I'm struggling way too much on this really simple part though, <laughs> and that's making me a little sad. Because this part shouldn't be that hard, and yet this is where I keep dying. I always tell people, like, platforming is my genre, basically, so I always like to be really good at platformers, and so when I fail at platformers, I, um... I lose my train of thought. No, um... It's like platformers are the one genre I do sort of have, if that makes sense. Because, you know, a lot of my friends are better at everything else. <laughs> uh, but like, platforming is like the one thing I kind of excel at, so... Makes sense. Launch. Uh, oh, momentum almost messed me up there. Yeah, the game isn't easy by any stretch, but yeah, I don't find it particularly like frustrating like some. I find it pretty fair for the most part. There we go. Alright, so dash. Now... I've actually died at the very end of the sequence, which is not fun. <laughs> so, um, I was kind of taking it slow there. Quiet and falling. So this chapter is, by my definition, complete. Since I'm, again, kind of treating the strawberries as if I see them, I'll go for them. But I'm not gonna, uh, ex like, obsess over them because they don't really unlock anything. They're just kind of for bragging rights. Alright, so we hit this button to cause a green flame, we hit this button to cause another flame. And we have another creepy mirror. I'm gonna be completely honest, when I first played this game, I sat on the screen for like a good minute or so before I realized I was controlling the little monster thing. So that's my story for this level, is I just sat there staring at the screen expecting something to happen, <laughs> not realizing I was in control. So that's the teacher mechanic. Uh... First of all, the world is really messed up now. No battle line back. Hey, where are we? What do you do to Theo? You think I'm doing this? That's cute. Sweetheart, this is exactly what I warned you about. Don't try to make this my fault. You still don't get it? The mountain gave me this body, but I'm not the only creepy thing living in that messed up head of yours. Don't like what you see? What a surprise. Shut up. I tried to stop you. Look into the mirror. All of this is yours. The temple only magnifies the mountain's power. You're in control here, not me. I don't believe you. If you're a part of me, why do you want to hurt me? Poor Madeline, always the victim. All I do is babysit you and you hate me for it. You're unraveling and you know it. If you care so much about protecting me, why don't you just explain what was going on? Like you, you would have listened? You never gave me a chance. Please, just help me get out of here. Now you want me to save you? Why are you doing this? Just be on my side here, please. 
stop trying to make me feel like a monster. You really want to know why it won't help? Because you deserve this. So, you think you can climb this mountain? Shut up. I don't need your help. I'll do this alone. Okay, so the chapter gets really messed up at this point and um... The confusion doesn't stop here, unfortunately. Uh, as this is the part that I actually don't like. Oh, <laughs> I messed this up. Um, because this is actually, in my opinion, the most confusing part of the chapter. Even compared to the rest of everything else, this is like, really mind-bending. So the whole dream sequence was to teach us that the uh, nightmare creature thingies it is. I always get lost in the next couple screens for some reason. Oh, I thought this was one of the sections where you need to find a key. <laughs> so I was trying to break the block. Also, the creatures can indeed hit the switches, which is nice. We can also bounce off of them, but they respawn shortly after. It's lin- I don't find this part linear, but again, I- I just got really turned around. I'm trying to find, like, I think it's two keys you need to find? I just got really super lost one time. Very linear. Like, not this particular sequence, but the part afterwards. This is the part that I, I feel like is really confusing. Uh, shoot. I think they skip finding keys. <laughs> like, there are two keys you need to find, they just skip them entirely. Good to go. Uh, if this is all in my head, why is it so hostile? Those things are hunting me. I'm a trespasser in my own world. He was trapped somewhere in here because of me. If I give him fully, then maybe the temple will let him go. Breathe. This is all coming from inside me. Get up, Madeline. Think of the feather. You can save Theo. Alright, so we have our mission now. Uh, oh boy, this part. I don't remember keys. I think you need to find like keys or something here and that's the part I don't like. I think it's this part coming up. I don't- I actually don't remember what the keys are for <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Yeah, there's the two keys. Yeah, this is the part uh, that, I, that kind of messes with my head in terms of just navigation. So oh god, I forgot about this. <laughs> exactly. I can't forget because I got super stuck here. I don't even know what the keys are for if you want me to be perfectly honest. I just know there are keys. Try 100%ing this level, it's not fun. <laughs> Because I have done it, and it was an experience. Wow, I'm amazed I got that first try. <laughs> Actually, I sort of panicked a little bit inside. Come on, break the thing. Nope. Thank you. And down here. Now, how do we get to the keys? Right, you need to like get a bubble and launch yourself through. 